we have some part-time jobs to do. Idle hands do the devil's work. Saki, do you have a job? No, I don't. Well, we're high school students. You don't have to work if you don't need to. We just work for money and fun. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Let me join the conversation. Idle hands do the devil's work. Fennel, do you have a job? My family runs a meal set bistro, so I help out. But I don't get paid for it, though. I feel sorry for you, Zeta. Don't call me Zeta! Speaking of which, you guys are working at the Kurogani Lab, right? Do they pay you well? Mm, I would say it's so... You're a liar. I know you get paid pretty well. Wow! So they do pay a lot. It depends on which department you work for. Oh, we have to go. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Ciao. Good luck with your part-time job. Bye-bye! All right, we've got to go to the lab. Don't stop for ice cream on the way. I know. A few days. It's finally time to meet her. I hope Tyria really shows up. Masakado. Oh, Tyria. Right on time. Were you waiting long? Look at your forehead. It's covered in sweat. I'm fine. Did you bring your swimsuit? Yes, I brought it. All right, then let's go. It's not as crowded as I thought. I'm sure we can swim as much as we want. What's up, Tyria? Let's go change. I want to switch places. Why? Don't you like this place? This pool stinks. It smells like it has too much chlorine. Oh, I know what you mean. It's kind of, uh, pungy. But that's calm. No, I don't like stinky smells. Tyria, 
You can't swim, can you? I can. I just can't stand the smell of chlorine. Are you sure? Or is that just your excuse to hide the fact that you can't swim? What are you talking about? Of course I can swim. I can swim faster than you. I'll prove it to you right now. All right, mermaid. I'll watch you swim in the water. No way. I must be dreaming. Tyria is super fast, like a real mermaid. Since she got in the water, she's been constantly swimming without taking a break. I was actually excited that I might be able to teach her how to swim. All right, it's literally time to sink or swim. Let's race. You should warm up first for your own safety. Nah, my leg! Masakado! Oh crap! Cramp! This can't be! I tried to change the outcome of my fate, but I ended up drowning to death? This is so stupid! What's this? Something got in my mouth. Some sticky stuff's plugging up my mouth. What is this? <coughs> Masakado! Masakado, are you alright? <coughs> what am I doing? Don't you remember? I was... Uh, oh yeah. I jumped into the pool. Got a leg cramp. You were not breathing. I was sort of freaked out, sweaty bitty. Sorry for making you worry. As long as you're fine, it's all right. But don't cause me any more trouble. Okay. Did I really stop breathing? Yes, but your heart was still beating, so I... I don't feel like I ever stopped breathing. I felt a lot of air coming into my mouth and... Wait, after that... Some sticky stuff came and plugged up my mouth, and then air flowed in. And when I opened my eyes, Tyria's face was right in front of me. Uh, no way! I'm going back to the locker room. Uh, Masakado, change your clothes and get ready to go home. T I mean, Rhea! She's gone. She looked awkward and in a hurry. She really must have... That's right! That's what happened! Huh? Huh! That was quite a spectacle! Oh, just another humor. Just another humor? What kind of greeting is that? Despite my looks, I'm the lifeguard of this swimming pool! Can you really do your job? I'm a very competent lifeguard! But I've never seen a human stop breathing, so I was a little scared and couldn't move. That's not very competent. If you are a lifeguard, you have to be the first to save me. That's your job, right? I know, but my body wouldn't stop shivering. So when I saw that young lady breathe air into your mouth, I sort of lost my confidence. Oh, really? So, she really did? You don't have to finish that question. I'm embarrassed. Too. I'm supposed to protect her, but she saved me. I'm the one who's supposed to save you, but I couldn't do anything. This really hurt my pride. So, until I find a new job, I'm gonna have to help you out at home. What? It's all your fault that I lost my dignity. Uh, uh, well, I am part of the reason. That's right. Please take care of me for a while. What happened, Masakado? Since we came out of the pool, you've been awfully quiet. I'm sorry. I was gonna entertain you, but I ended up causing you a lot of trouble instead. Plus, I was supposed to protect you, but I was saved by you. There's no question that I failed you. I'm really sorry for being such a helpless bodyguard. That's not true. You're the bodyguard that I place all my faith in. Seriously? I'm just a drowning victim. That was an accident. You should have done more warm-up exercises before jumping into the pool. Can't argue about that. 
but I still had so much fun. We had some trouble, but even including all that, today was a great day, and it's all because of you. Thank you, Masakado. If we have another chance to go out together, I want you to take me somewhere else. Of course. Let's definitely go out to have fun again. I'm so excited. A few weeks have passed. The last morning before the ritual. What do you usually talk more loudly? Well, I was thinking today might be our last day. You'll become the tower tomorrow. So today is our final day at school, right? Of course. Once I become the tower, I can't go to school like a good little schoolgirl. Well, that's why I'm a little sad. Masakado is a lonely boy. So that was your secret. Don't you feel sad too? You won't be able to come to school or see friends anymore. Yeah, but I'll realize my lifelong dream of becoming the tower. I wouldn't even call that a sacrifice. I know, you really are such a sweet girl. Huh? Oh, nothing. Ah! Uh, Masakado! Rhea! Good morning! Oh, there you are! Morning, guys! Morning. Hey, what's up? You guys look happy today. <laughs> We're gonna work part-time, too. What about your family's bistro? They won't pay me anyway. The Kurogane Lab was hiring temporary workers, so we applied together. The Kurogane Lab? Yes, it's the same place that you and Rio work. I heard they're gonna have a hectic day tomorrow, since Tyria will be gone. That's why they're hiring new people. We applied for those positions. And they actually hired us both. It was really competitive, too. We're so lucky. <laughs> what a coincidence. So, Masakado, you're going to the lab today, right? Can we go with you? Well, uh, I don't think we'll work at the same department. Maybe not, but you're still going there, right? I'd like you to take us. We're kind of nervous, because it's going to be our first day working there. But, but... Today is the day Tyria gets attacked. If I go to the lab with them, I won't be able to protect Tyria. I have to reject them without causing a scene. Either way, the enemy's strong enough to give Yozuki, who's way stronger than I am, a run for his money. Even though I know they're gonna attack us, do I really stand a chance? Jeez. Why well, didn't I even think about that until just now? Did you hear that? You're going with them today. Okay. What? Thank you. We'll meet you after class. All right, let's go to the class first. Excuse me, but by any chance, was it really decided that I'm going to the lab with them today? Yeah, because you didn't seem to be listening to us. So I arranged it for you. You shouldn't. I'm sorry, but please do it. I knew they've always wanted to be with you. Are you trying to play Cupid? I mean, is that a final present from you? That's right. I like the way that sounds. That's because you originally said it. Now, I, I want to go to the lab today, no matter what. This will be the last time I get to walk with you. So I wanted to talk about a lot of things with you on the way. Hey. Can we go somewhere together right now? Huh? If we can't go to the lab together, will you go out with me somewhere for fun? Come on. This is your last day of school. You won't miss the boring classes, right? Let's play hooky and have fun. Can we? But this is my last day of school. Then just for the morning. There's something I wanted to talk to you about too. So just for the morning, it should be fine. All right. I'd like to go somewhere quiet, like a tea house or coffee shop. 